good afternoon, guys. I'd like to welcome everybody to this week's Impact Wrestling Media Teleconference. This is Ross Foreman. Two special guests for us this week, and uh, let's just kick it off right with the uh, the mastermind of the Cult of Lee, Trevor Lee. How you doing? I guess we'll kick it off with me. This is my show, right? You're bringing me in. You're bringing in the Cult of Lee. You want to talk to Trevor Lee. Caleb Connolly just happens to be here. Ain't that right, Caleb? You there? That's right. I'm here. Happy to be here. You're supposed to come in and say hey to me first. I didn't even want to hear Ross. I wanted to hear you, Caleb. You haven't called Sorry, me all buddy. week. I've been calling I you. I'm trying to I get all my Christmas presents to talk on this for you, man. I understand. I understand. Well, guys, I don't mean to chime in. If I if I may, let me just ask, how are things going for you? Getting ready for the holidays? New Year right around the corner? Yeah. Now that you mentioned it, Ross, it is the holidays, and maybe that's why Caleb hasn't been answering my calls. I think he's been trying to give me a good gift, and I feel like if he just were to talk to me, he probably would uh, spoil it. So I'm glad you brought that up. You really you really cooled me down. Uh, I don't want to come into this thing too hot. Uh, but other than that, I've been good, you know. Uh, just holidays here, time to relax, enjoy myself. Caleb, do I assume you've been shopping for the past three, four days just to try to find something for Trevor? Oh, yeah. I mean, I've got my eye on a couple of different flowery shirts. I know how he loves them. I can't quite narrow it down to one. I might just have to get them all. Good answer. Tre- Trevor, are you getting a gift for Caleb? Well, you know, the gift of work, the gift to be able to just sit under the learning tree, Ross. It's all the, the only gift I need. All yep. right, well. I don't want to break out of the holiday spirit, but let's let's talk about uh, what's going on in Impact. Uh, Caleb, Trevor, chime in. What do you guys think? Uh, how are things going for you, uh, X Division these days? You got a lot of uh, a lot of people gunning for both of you two. <sighs> that is right, Ross. There are a few people. There are a few competitors. Uh, but uh, you know, still the champ, and that's all that matters. That's, that's really all that matters. There can be contenders. Hell, there's contenders, Ross, that are scattered throughout this planet, not even just in the impact zone, that would just die to have the X Division chance. But, uh, you know, as long as I still got the title, none of that means anything. Caleb, as for Caleb, you know, he's got me on his back, and I got him. So that's all that matters, man. That's all that matters. As long as we're together, no one's taking that title. I'm just wondering if either of you two is going to sing, I Got You, Babe. No, we're not uh, we're not in the musicals quite yet. All right. Well, there's always time. Well, let me ask you guys. Uh, we go back to Orlando, January 10th through the 15th. What are your thoughts about going back there for uh, next round of Impact tapings? Uh, I'm pretty excited to head back to Orlando. Uh, Canada was really fun. Canada was cool. Uh, not a lot of people wanted to be on my side in Canada, and I understand that. And also, it's freezing cold. Uh, I'm going to absolutely love to be in moderate weather and not 19 degrees and snowing. Yeah, we don't, we don't do, do too cold. The cold sucks. We got to uh, we got to bring it back to the, uh, the 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 short shorts of, of South Florida. Exactly. All righty. Well, with a uh, short shorts, Daisy Dukes mentioned, we will open it up for. Uh, Media calls and questions at this point, uh, chime in with a star six if you have a question, and uh, please make sure you direct it who you want the question for, be it Trevor or Caleb or both, and uh, please identify yourself and your media outlet when you ask a question. Q&A session has started. To ask your question, please press star six. Hey guys, uh, this is Vichu from Sports Kira in India. Um, my question is actually for Trevor. Uh, so you were part of the uh, M dynasty. I was wondering if you were following the Twitter alter- altercation between uh, Shane Helms and Mia Khalifa, the uh, adult film star, and your thoughts on the thing. <laughs> uh, honestly, man, I don't know how to answer this question. Um, you know, People uh, people bash professional wrestling, I guess, but uh, Shane Helms, he's he's a he's a master with words, and uh, I guess that's all I could say. <laughs> hey, 
This is BQ from the Impact Lounge. My uh, question is for Caleb. Uh, back when you had uh, signed for it with Impact Wrestling, after quite, it took quite some time before you got on television. Was it because the company didn't have anything for you, or was it something uh, you requested? Oh, no, I request to uh, wrestle all the time and get paid as much as possible. I have no idea why I sat at home for almost seven, eight months, whatever it was. Uh, I would assume it has to do with the the uh, changing of the guard as far as the creative side goes. But, you know, what's in the past is in the past, but I'm on TV every week and now I'm part of Cultural League, so that's really all that matters. To be honest, here was the real reason. Uh, Caleb just wasn't cutting it at the time. There was stars like me that just deserved the TV time, and there was no room for Caleb. So that's why I found Caleb, and that's why we're at where we are at now is because I gave Caleb that little extra bit that he needed. And now, look, everything's great. Perfect. Hey guys, this is Graham Matthews, Vinmo.com. I uh, just want to get your thoughts on the pre-existing friendship, if any, between you guys before the recent relationship on Impact Wrestling. Oh man, Caleb's been driving me up and down the road for years. years. Caleb, uh, I don't know, if, I don't know if he's always been my friend, but I've always loved Caleb. And finally, when no. Caleb let me in, and when Caleb decided that, hey, maybe this Trevor guy knows what he's talking about. We've been best Trevor, friends ever Trevor since. Trevor absolutely knows what he's talking about. Trevor, we have an uh, email question uh, from a reporter who actually said, please don't mention my name because I'll be embarrassed that you say this. But, uh, Trevor, what would it take to get you to shave your head and get a haircut? Oh, man. What it's going to take is a real hot summer day when I'm just tired of sweating. That's probably all it's going to take. But in, if I could ever, you know, I don't know. Probably never. Maybe, maybe we can, maybe we can get it all the way to the floor. That makes for some sweet hair whips. Uh, my name is Stephanie for Steelchair Magazine in UK. Uh, my question is for both of you. Um, four months ago, we had a media call with you, Trevor, Sanjigat, and um, Loki. Um, and when we think about four months later, the face of X Division completely changed. And um, I want to have your impression from both of you on this complete evolution of the of the division and thank you uh uh you, you said four months ago uh and the the face has changed i think the face had changed probably about two years ago when i got here uh this isn't my first exhibition title run i'm talking to a three-time exhibition champion and i've been in the company for two years the face has the face had changed a long time ago yeah maybe low-key was a champion four months ago Maybe, but that wasn't the space. That was just a guy holding a spot. That's all that was. And for you, Caleb? Uh, I, just, I think four months ago, uh, Trevor Lee was the champion. I mean, I don't, I don't really know what you think four months has changed. Uh, the cult of Lee is the top of the top here. And it's not changing anytime soon. Go on, Caleb. We're getting there. I'm getting there. Hey, guys, I think a good follow-up question to her question would be, uh, take you two out of the equation. Who do you guys view as the all-time greatest X Division competitors? I'm going to let Caleb answer this one first. Ooh, that's, I mean, if you're taking Trevor out of the situation, you're taking me out of the situation, I mean, I can't really think of anybody. I mean, there's been a slew of guys. But, I mean, I don't really know, man. I mean, it's Trevor, 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 and Trevor, really. See, Caleb, that was a perfect answer. Now I'm going to bring in a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of background history. Now, x Vision guys, look at Petey Williams, a guy that showed up out of nowhere, just like Sanjay Dutt, a guy that showed up out of nowhere, just like Low Key, a guy that showed up out of nowhere, 
all those guys were excellent in the X division. Excellent in the X division. But now it's a new day, right? Now yes, it is. Trevor Lee is running the X division. There is no one in the X division that can do the things that I do. And I can do everything that they do. So how does that work out? How does that play out? Next question. Uh, hey, uh, Ritu from Sportskira again. My question is for Caleb. Uh, how, how important is playing suicide for you? And, uh, like, considering how many people have, uh, like, been suicide before you, um, I mean, is it something, is it a highlight of yours? I don't know anything this guy's talking about. Yeah, I, I didn't know anything about that either. Well, can someone translate? I must have misinterpreted what he said. It sounded like he said something about being suicidal. No, nah, man, Caleb, I, I don't never even like logic. You to be suicidal. I, I thought nah, that you I mean, were on I, a, a healthy track. Life is, that life we is pretty good right now. Up. There's no reason to even even think about suicide. Yeah, when I was a child, a I used topic. to put all of the cups in the fountain and do every one of the drinks, and they would call that a suicide. But that's that's about as far as I went. Hi, Ryan Bowman from the com. Trevor, this question is for you. You mentioned that you're a three-time X Division champion already, and you're still very, very young. How does that give you an advantage having such an early start in the business now, and how does it give you an advantage long-term as you progress in your career? Well, uh, I mean, it, it's kind of obvious. How does, it, how does it help? I'm 24 years old. I haven't even reached the peak of my life. My body is still growing in ways that I don't even comprehend. And yet, I'm in a room full of dudes that have already been past that peak. They've already reached the pinnacle, and now they're just riding the slide back down. I'm still climbing that ladder. I'm still doing those pull-ups and making each rung harder and harder. I'm still going to reach to that top. And I'm not even close to there yet. And I'm already a three-time X Division champion and a world tag team champion. Let's not forget about that. I'm almost a Grand Slam champion, and I'm not even 25 years old yet. What What do you mean? How can you not see the benefits? How can you not see the uprise? I mean, Jesus, I'm here for a long, long, long time. Hi, BQ again here from the Impact Lounge. What is the status of Andrew Everett in the Cult of Lee? Well, here's what happens. If you don't produce for me, if you don't make my life better, then unfortunately I can't do the same for you. I'm here to make people's lives better. All I've tried to do for Caleb is give him more. Give him more opportunities. Give him more reasons to shine. And ultimately, that helps me out. We're helping each other out. Andrew Everett, I tried to bring him in, and yet his head just kept knocking. I guess he still had problems with me. All I was trying to do is look out for him. Now, unfortunately, I don't have to let him think on his actions. There may be a chance for him to come back, and there may not be. We're still friends. We've known each other for years, and he's always been like this, so... He'll either come back around and he'll come back begging or he'll go do his own thing and we'll continue to do our thing. And that's when. Uh, Stephanie for Stiacha Magazine again. Um, uh, sorry. Uh, one of the subject uh, topics suggested in the, in, for this uh, this comp call, it was um, the idea of you two as a tag team. Is it something you ever considered? And do you see both of you becoming the world tag team champions in the future? Thank you. Uh, no, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, of course, of course, we can do that. Have you never watched on the show? We've been tagging all the time. We're, we, of course, we can be tag team. We're, we're great. I know what he's going to do, and he may understand eventually what I'm going to do, but that's what we're working out. That's what we're getting there. Of course.
course we can be tag team champions. I won the tag team champions with a guy that hasn't won a match in two years. So, yeah, I think me and Caleb could take those titles, but that's not our focus right now. We can't just go around taking everything, all right? It's one thing at a time. And this maybe, maybe the Colt Lee will be tag team champions, but only when Trevor Lee wants to be a tag team champion. Hey guys, this is Grant Matthews with HiddenRoad.com again. Uh, speaking of the Colt of Elite, is there anyone else in the roster that you might be looking to recruit into the Colt of Elite in the future? Not a bad question. Uh, there's, there's a few candidates, you know. I can name off a couple. I'd love to have Moose. I'd love to have EC3. I'd love to have Bobby Lashley. I'd love to have Eddie Edwards. I'd love to have Let's see. Who else? Caleb, you got any suggestions? Ooh, I think I think Bobby Lash is a really good one. How about uh, I think, Goldberg? I think every person I just said are all top of the line candidates, and would all love to be a part of the Cold Lee. It's just you know, it's just timing. It's timing. Just gotta just gotta figure it out when that time's going to be. But I think uh, I think that'd be a good satisfaction. I think uh, I think we could get some things accomplished with that group. Trevor, could you see a, uh, a knockout joining your entourage? Uh, Caleb gets real wild around girls. So I, I just it's best to just keep them as far away as we can as we're trying to get things accomplished. Same question, Caleb. Would you like a uh, a knockout among the uh, cult of Lee? Would Would I like a knockout? I mean, Trevor. Trevor knows me. Trevor knows that. You, you really, if we want to accomplish what we need to accomplish, then, you know, that's kind of my tip tonight. You're going to have to keep that as far away, keep that on the back burner. Look, we're here for business, and we're here for championships. Do that Caleb's too pretty of a boy to be having girls around, guys. Just too much tension. Hey, uh, Radio from Sports Killer again. Um, my question is for both of you. Uh, how was it wrestling in India? And a follow-up to what I asked uh, Lars, if uh, uh, Caleb is not suicide, who do you guys think it is? Thank you. Uh, yeah, me and Caleb had a great time in India. Me and Caleb woke up every morning. We ate the wonderful fruit. We worked out in the gym. That's where we started to seed the little seeds that we needed to grow such a beautiful plant. Uh, as for who may be suicide, as for who's suicide, uh, I've, I've, I've been wondering myself. Uh, I'm also trying to figure out who was the Mumbai Cats. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that was a local guy. I saw him walking around petting weird dogs. Do you have any idea who uh, suicide would be? Um. Well, I mean, Davy Richards sounds like a Davy. Davy Richards. Had, had, nobody's seen Davy Richards in some time. It could probably be him. Maybe this. There is no coincidence. Uh, BQ here from the Impact Lounge. I was on my way back home from work last night at 1 a.m. Swing by Denny's. I heard Trevor Lee is a uh, IHOP guy. I don't know what this is about. This uh, me being an IHOP guy, uh, you know, just sometimes on the road you don't get to eat until midnight or so. So I mean, yeah, IHOPs are usually good, but uh, I, I think I'm more of a Denny's guy when it comes down to it. Denny's, you can get a, you can get a real good smoothie. You can uh, you can get some good stuff there at Denny's. Uh, IHOP, they just have omelets. Sometimes I'm looking for more than just an omelet. I don't want just a plain egg night. I want smoothies and hot wings and, you know, spaghetti. So I think I'm a Denny's guy. I think we have to change whatever that rumor is, but I'm an Al Denny's guy. Caleb, what do you do for the late night munchies? Ooh, uh, you know, I do, I do enjoy Denny's, but uh, I've, I've always been a Waffle House guy, 24-7, 365. It's always got the best company there, too.
uh, Stephanie from Steel Chat Magazine again. My question is for Caleb. Um, it's one of the questions I love to ask uh, on Media Call. Um, and I asked tra- uh, ask to travel a few months ago uh, for, for what I saw. You made your first steps in uh, UK. I think in UK a few months ago. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. But I want to have your opinion on the British wrestling scene and the fans. And thank you again. Uh, yeah, I, I wrestled for Southside Wrestling uh, in the springtime. Uh, I really liked it. I, I met a whole bunch of new guys that I'd never seen wrestle before. Uh, I've seen a couple of them since then come over and wrestle in the States. I had a had a fun time there. All the fans were excellent. Uh, I can't wait to go back. I mean, next time it needs to be me and Trevor together because, I mean, I'm really missed him. Oh, Caleb, we would tear England apart. Get that booked. Hey, uh, this is from Swootskira again. Uh, so I had a chance to speak to Scott Demar recently, and I asked him about uh, the homegrown talents that he planned to push as executive vice president. The first name he mentioned was Trevor Lee. And he also said that it's not fair to call you an X Division star because you wrestle for the X Division, but uh, you're capable of uh, like competing with the heavyweights as well. Is that something you're looking to do? Well, I mean, I didn't even have to say it this time. <laughs> What have I been preaching this whole time? Yeah, I'm the greatest X Division guy, but I'm also the greatest guy. Like I said, no one can do what I can do, but I can do everything that they can do. Hard work can get you a lot of things, but hard work will never beat someone with talent that has that same hard work. Trevor Lee is going to rise to the top, and uh, Scott DeBoer already said it. Guys, I know you had limited time today. We're very appreciative of your time. We will wrap it up with just a couple more questions for you. BQ here from the Impact Lounge again. We know Trevor Lee's pedigree. What is What are the goals for Caleb Conley in Impact Wrestling? Well, the goals are, are to make sure that Trevor does exactly what he wants to do 24-7, all the time. I'm here for Trevor no matter what. And whatever he says goes. So that's my goal. And, you know, honestly, I could see Caleb Connolly as a future X Division champion. And I think Caleb would be an excellent X Division champion. But that'll also be the time that Trevor Lee is the world champion. Fair enough. Hey, guys, it's James from the Wrestling Epicenter. This question is for both of you. With the announcement a few weeks ago of the new people in charge of the direction of Impact Wrestling, wanted to know if you guys think the X Division will return to prominence as it was in the early days, the asylum years of Impact. Uh, I think you're. Uh, I think you're saying that the X Division isn't isn't yeah, what you used to be. You kind of just slapped me right I in the think face. It's better. Now. No, no, offense was just intended. no offense was intended. <laughs> Sorry, guys. You definitely just mean. got me right in the face with that one. Uh, yeah, the X Division could be more prominent. What What does that mean? I mean, I'm. Maybe do, are you asking for heavily, longer? Are you asking for longer say, matches? Like, because honestly, these guys can't handle longer matches against Trevor Lee. These guys can't handle those type of situations against me. I'm sorry that I go out there and I get it done in the time that it happens. I, ca- I can't help that. I'm just there to try to get it done as quick as possible and make as much money as possible. And that's what's been happening. x has been fun. x has been fun. Hey guys, this is Graham Matthews with HiddenRoad.com again. Uh, my question for you would be, with 2017 having been a landmark year for the X Division, is there anyone else who would like to see brought into the company for the X Division, and how else can the X Division continue to raise the bar in 2018? 
Yeah, there's uh there's guys that uh maybe I would like to work with. Uh you know, the the all the all the big stars of the names that you guys know. Yeah, I'd like to have maybe some of those guys in, but only to just continue to prove that I'm better than those guys. You know, the the ricochets and the the Will Ospreys and the 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 Kenny Omegas and the Young Bucks. All those guys. I'd love to have all those guys in. But just so you can see that they're second tier. They're not a Trevor Lee. Stephanie from Stitcher Magazine again. Um, we, when I had a chance to talk to Trevor not so long ago, we talked about this 105 minutes match that, uh, in a way, was a big peak in your career. Um, and not so long ago, we, with Sammy Callian, we were talking about alcohol. Do you think it's something, um, a spicy sauce like alcohol or things like that, that um, impacts? could um need and um make 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 impact special in any ways. And um, um I wanna wish you a happy holidays, of course. Uh, so do you think that the art call or other things can bring impact to another level? Thank you. Uh Maybe uh, 105 minutes. I don't think we have 105 minutes with commercial breaks. Uh, so can't can't do that on TV. That's a lot. It's a lot of watch. Uh, yeah, it, ha it happened one time, and, and that's it. You know, it, it was a special one-time thing, I, I guess. Uh, as for hardcore matches, you don't want to see Trevor Lee in no hardcore matches. Trevor Lee just wants to have wrestling matches. Trevor Lee just wants to get it done and get it out of there. I went 105 minutes one time in my career. I'm done with that. I'm on to the next thing. I've learned from better. I just want six minutes in and out. I'm sure Caleb agrees with that as well. Absolutely. I don't want to well, spend 105 Caleb, minutes doing Caleb anything. May, Caleb may actually like the hardcore. Uh, yeah. he gets wild. Trevor, if, if you want me, if you want me to do hardcore, just tell, just say the, say the word. I'll do it. Caleb's a working man for the people. Hey guys, Ryan Bowman from the Gorilla Position dot com. Uh, you mentioned possible prospective members that might be out there for the Cult of Lee. So my question in, in closing is, what is uh, what does it take to be a part of the cult of Lee, and what factors would you look for that really set people apart? And you guys have a great day and a happy holiday. What are the factors to join? It, uh, it's actually quite simple. Uh, you have to have something to bring to the table. Uh, you have to have something that helps me, so then I can help you. That's what that's what this all is, is. We're helping each other. But in order to do that, I have to be helped first. This isn't a democracy. We're not voting on stuff. All right? So anybody that's fine with that and anybody that gets a part of that and understands that that is ultimately going to help and, and pulls that ego back, and, and looks at the brighter picture and looks at the fact that, hey, this is this is all I need. I don't have to be I don't have to be the top. I just have to be content. Do you want to be a star or do you want to survive? And that's what this comes to. So, you know, it's very simple. It's very easy. Alrighty, guys. I know, as I said, your your time was limited. You told me in advance. So we'll, we'll wrap it up with that. Uh, I'll open it up to uh, Caleb first for a final thought heading into the end of the year. Holidays, New Year, and then we're back in uh, Orlando on uh, January 10th. Final thoughts. 
right now I'm just focusing on getting through the Christmas season, making sure that Trevor's happy, make sure all his presents are wrapped, everything's nice. But as soon as January 1st hits, back to business. January 10th, we're back in Orlando. And if you thought 2017 was good for the Colts to leave, you, had, you just don't just wait for 2018. We're taking over. <laughs>